the classic pattern of inheritance is autosomal dominant, where a single faulty copy of the gene causes the problem. And Huntington's disease is often quoted as a typical example. The next two clips show a patient suffering from Huntington's disease to show what a devastating condition this is. Ivy, thanks for coming down to make this video. As I explained to you before, the idea is to make a short teaching video about Huntingdon's career, just to talk a little bit about how it affects people and also to show how it's affecting your movements and so on now. Just to quickly go over the story again, you uh, were born in West Hartlepool, is that right? Yes. Uh, and how many sisters were you? How many were you in family? Eight. There were eight of you. Right. Now, your mother actually developed Huntington's career when she was 31. 31, right. And so died when she was 46. 46, right. Your father died quite young and you ended up going into care, is that yes, right? right? With the nuns, sis Catholic with the nuns, sisters. The Catholic sisters. Right. You then uh, went to school, grew up, trained as a children's nurse, is that right? Mm -hmm. And emigrated... To, yes. uh, to, to Canada, in fact, wasn't it, in 1952? Right. Did you know about the history of Huntington's career at that time? Yes, I think Jimmy had somehow got with the doctor in Leeds, who was practising at Leeds that time. And they, that's how you found out about it? Mm, yes. But you went to America mainly to make money, you told me. Yes, right. A lot of nurses do the same now, don't they? And, and when you're in, a, you went to Canada first, then to America, and ended up in New York. Yes. W at what age were you when you first realised that the Huntington's career was affecting you too? Maybe fifties things. Was it or was it forty six? I think you no, told me. Maybe yes. Yeah, dying. that's right. With death and dying. And how did it affect you at first? It was. Uh, Thinking about being on borrowed time, yeah, living on borrowed knowing time. what had happened to your mother. Right. Now you now are actually um, doing quite well, aren't you? You're now sixty years old. Yes, and apparently. You, yes. What brought you back to this country? I'm actually homesick. <laughs> All right, so you come back to the northeast again. Now. You're back full circle. What I'd like to do is, we've been through all the examination in detail before, but can we just go through one or two of the things again mm -hmm. that we talked about, OK? Yeah. We'll start with just with your eye movements. Can you just look straight at me, look at my finger, follow it across that way, keep your head still, and follow your eyes. Uh, follow with your eyes, that's good. And back that way. Now follow up and down. And now follow it in. That's good. Now just screw your eyes up tight. Like this. That's good. Tight. Close your eyes tight. Well done. Now blow your cheeks out for me. Fine. Now can you put your tongue out for me? And waggle your tongue side to side. That's great. Let's just do that finger nose test. Remember with that finger, touch my finger. Touch your nose, touch my finger, touch your nose, touch my finger, touch your nose. That's very good. And now do it with your other hand. Touch my finger and touch your nose. Well done. And again. Fine. Now, can we now see how you walk? I'd like to just take a video picture of you walking across the studio. Okay, Ivy, do you want to just walk towards me? Just walk nice and calmly. That's very good. Now, can you turn back and walk quickly back the other way? Walk as quickly as you can. That's very good. And once more back this way. That's very good. Well done. All right. Is that difficult? You don't, you don't have any problems with your walking? And just walk back once more. Motivated. It's just getting going, is it? It's a problem. All right. Well done. And once more back this way. Now try and walk on the line this time. That's good. OK. Fine. Thanks very much indeed, Ivy.
Hello again, Ivy. How are you feeling today? Pretty good. OK. Now, it's a couple of years since we did our last recording. Right. And I wanted to see how things have come along in the last two years. How do you feel in yourself? Are you feeling well? No, my, my memory thing. What's the problem with your memory? Gone completely. Has it? Just do you remember? Hours mm -hmm. thinking. Mm -hmm. In bed. Yeah, to a day. So, and what? I'm tired in the afternoon. Right. So I was in the afternoon. So tiredness and loss of memory are the two problems that you've right. you've noticed. Just day. Is it all your memory, or is it is it things that just happened that give you the biggest problem? Oh, things that happened because they take me out. You see, mm -hmm. out for a drink and eating. Mm -hmm. Down at because the house mm -hmm. take me out. And can you remember things that happened five ten minutes ago? better than things that happened 20 years ago? Or yeah. are you better with things that happened a long time back? Can you remember back in the old days when you were working so as a nurse? That part. Hmm? That part I don't have. I don't remember good enough nursing. You don't remember very much about the nursing now? Yes, no, but it was. The thing in my life, you see, I was 21. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, and uh, Right. And and how old were you when you started nursing? Uh, 19. You were 19. And where did you train in nursing? Edinburgh. In Edinburgh. Scotland. Did you like it there? Very good. Mm. Right. Nice, nice town. Right. Oh, it's a city, isn't it? Right. OK. What I'd like to do now is just look at your eye movements a little bit, Ivy. Just look straight down that way into the light. Just shift, lift your chin a little bit. Look at my finger. Now keep your head still. Keep your head still. Follow my finger with your eyes. Keep watching my finger all the time. Try not to take your eyes off it. Now look up. Look down, look up, and down, across the right, and across to the left. Now follow my finger as it comes in towards your nose. OK, that's fine. OK, Ivy, could you walk straight across here towards me? Straight towards me here. That's fine. Okay. Now can you turn round and walk straight back again, as fast as you can. Okay, and back to me once more. Keep coming, straight back. I don't walk a straight line. I know. Why is that? Do you, do you feel a bit unsteady? Unsteady. Right. Let's see if we walk together. Let's see how you can walk together. Hold my arm. Let's just walk together now. Do you find it easier if you've got someone to hold on to? I bet that, yes. Yes, OK. And tell me about your diet. How much do you, do you eat a lot? I eat porridge mm -hmm. in the morning. Do you feel hungry a lot? 7.30. Hmm? 7.30. 7.30 you have porridge? In the morning. Right. And do, you, um, do you like eating? Yes. Do you I like love, your food? Yes, I love food. Good other food. And I eat my breakfast. And do you have problems swallowing your food? No. No problems with your swallowing? No problems at all. I just have a good other food and good eating. Okay.